I mean, when you just look at him historically, when you talk about this program, what will you remember most about his time here in Athens? I've called a lot of college baseball in my life. In fact, I was the radio play-by-play -play guy when they won the national championship in 1990. So I've seen a lot of baseball. And Charlie Condon's season was something like I'd never seen before. As Wes Johnson mentioned in his post-game presser, every time he comes to the plate, People expect him to hit a home run, and he did in his final at-bat as a Georgia Bulldog, finishing with 37 home runs, by far the most ever in Georgia history, and the most in the SEC in the BB Core bat era as well. He's going to be, if not the number one pick in the MLB draft, he's certainly going to be one of the top picks in the MLB draft, and it can't happen to a nicer guy out of the tiny Walker school there in Marietta, just as humble as he can be. And you saw his red eyes when he came to the postgame presser. He was highly emotional. And you think about that. Here's a guy that's going to have millions of dollars in the bank in about a month when he gets picked in the draft. And what he was thinking about was the end of his college baseball season man, and career. Just the nicest guy in the world, man. Those tears coming down his face. You only could kind of feel for him in that moment. But of course, like you said, he's going to be very rich very soon. How do you kind of see him projecting once he gets to the majors? I think he's probably going to be a corner outfielder. I get that from uh, the pro scouts that I've talked to. The thing that really shocked me about this season for him, aside from the fact that he belted 37 home runs, is the fact that he's a great third baseman. I didn't know he had that in him. He's easily a first baseman, but his ability to play possibly third base and certainly right field or left field, maybe even center field. He showed some of that this year. Probably not a center fielder at the pro level, but the fact that he was able to show that really opens a lot of doors for him in the minds of pro scouts. A lot of times you get sluggers like that, they're first baseman. Here's a guy that can play multiple positions. His versatility is really going to help him in the draft. And man, was he fun to watch here in Athens, man. An incredible player and really what was an incredible season for this team and I'm sure he'll be back, hopefully back in this position back in 2025. Guys?